how to enjoy God's presence to the fullness this month. We will begin our study in this new year. We enjoy enjoy the Lord. God has said, we are going to look at the presence of the Lord and we are look, looking at the presence of the in the old that we enjoy the presence of God. You know, the presence of God, the Bible just as we say, it, they say they sleep back in the presence of God. And you know, anyone who was in Moses, I must say, if your presence cannot go with me, I will not go. Praise the living God. Because you know the importance of the, of the presence of God. So we are now going to do the thing that we need to be to see. Praise the living God. So, number one person we are going to study is David. David as a case study. We are going to study two people, David and Joseph. We start with David. Praise the living God. David enjoyed his presence. That is the presence of God. No wonder he concluded as follows: that in his presence, in his presence was of the I mean his inheritance was of the Lord. Praise the living God. It is only when you are in the presence of God. That you will know that all that you have is from God. Praise the living God. As I think last week or um, in our Sunday school, we said something like that. All that we have is from God. From God. Whatsoever you have, if it's not really because of your activity, it's not really because you go hard more than other people. It is not really because of your own high connection. It is from God. Praise the living God. So David was able to know it because. He was always in the presence of God. So you know that everything he has comes from who? From God. Praise the living God. Now, his overwhelming blessing was from the Lord. Now, if you look at where we read some silver by A, he said that what? You are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. That is what David said. You are the portion of my inheritance. Everything I have, it is from what? From you. Praise the living God. And also say that his overwhelming blessing was from God. As you can look at it in the, in the same place that we read, Psalm 16, verse 5, he. Bible says, you maintain my law. Praise the living God. God is the one that was, that was maintain his law. Everything he has, everything he was, was what maintained by God. Praise the living God. All his overwhelming blessings. You know, David was so much blessed to the point that he wanted to do what? Build the house of God. Praise the living God. Because everything worked for him, God bless him. Just that God said, not you. Because of so much uh, fighting and blood in your chest. Praise the living God. Now, David recognized that all this is was because of what? The presence of God. Praise the living God. Now, if you look at it, the best, the best thing he enjoyed was from the Lord. Praise the Lord. We we'll look at 68. I mean, uh, Psalm 16, verse 6a say that the lines are fallen to me in pleasant places. Praise the Lord. David know you it that everything, the breakthroughs and everything, the war he has been fighting and was conquering is all from who from God. It was not because he knows how to fight most, but it's because of what the presence of God that was with them at all times. Praise the living God. And also, God inherited. God will inheritance that he has came from him. Just I mean, question from God, just as I say in that day, it's the thing that yes, I have a what a good heritage. Good heritage came from where? From God. Praise the living God. That is some of the things that one will enjoy in the presence of God. And we are going on again. Praise the living God. Now he said that he enjoyed good counsel and guidance. You look at that same time that we read. Psalm 16, verse 7, 8. 7, 8 says, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. Praise the living God. Every good counsel is from what? It's from God. You can't get it from anywhere. Praise the living God. You can get good counsel from God. If you want men to, I mean, one man to counsel you, most of 90% will lead you astray. Praise the living God. Just like there was, uh, this, I think the first time we're having our, our Holy Ghost up here, there's a, lead, a woman. That I knew. I used to assist her in some things. So she was like, somehow moody, this and that, that and this, this and that. So what happened? He explained a lot. I said, okay, come. 
Praise God to God. A man of God is coming. You are trained to do this. Praise the living God. Because I know that if I cancel her, I cannot cancel her the right way. Oh, I mean, you know, among many people they are looking for, even that I told her that some people they are looking for who will do one that will tell you one thing that will see. Meanwhile, maybe that thing is not the way God wants to do. Praise the living God. Then she came, and all this while she's always happy. That only that day she came, she had an encounter, all the things that were disturbing her, and gradual, gradual, everything I said. Praise the living God. The right can say is wrong here. Not God. Now, how can you get it? It is only in the presence of God that you can get what? The right counsel. God can use his own people to do what? Give you that counsel. Or in your presence, in his presence, he himself can do what? Drop something in your mind, in your heart, that if you can do like this, you see your what you are looking for. Praise the living God. Now, we say he was sustained, no matter the storm, challenges. The presence of God who what? Sustains David. You know, they fought so many wars. Praise the living God. Even in your own in your small house, you know, it's even some wanted to take took over that force from him. Praise the living God. With all this he do what? He succeeded because of what? The presence of God is always what? Always what? With what? With him. Praise the living God. While we have us in Jesus' mighty name. His presence ensures peace. Psalm 16, 9. 16, 9 says, Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. Praise the living God. His glory to what? And to remain rejoicing, because the presence of God was always with him. Praise the Lord. His presence gave him what? Fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11. Psalm 16, level C says, Your right hand and hand are pleasures forevermore. Praise the living God. Look at that, is how David enjoyed. We are just said, they just said a few to join the person. Okay, when you look at it and you study the life of David very well, you know that David too was enjoyed the presence of God. Even when he was a kid, guiding uh, sheep in the bush, he would always do what? He played his music and what? Singing uh, to God. That is why right from time is the presence of the Lord was what? Which is because of what? How he used to praise God, how he used to invite the presence of God to be with him. Praise the living God. That is the presence when the presence of God was with him. That is how why you can see that even a bear or a lion, he used his bare hand to do what to give it because of what? the presence of God. When it came to the time of him to face the Goliath, you say that God has been with him and he that would have no. Maybe some of you this is brethren or other people didn't even know about it. But they say that God has been doing like this to me. So even this one, God can see with him again. And he first Goliath and do what? He defeated because of what? The presence of God. I believe it's very, very important for us to do what? Always about the presence of God. It doesn't matter where you are. Praise the Lord. When you are in the presence of God, even you are praying. I have one of my pastor for the Lord said, even if it doesn't look like it, you just know that there's what there's God around you. Sometimes you feel that ah, the Lord say, you say, no, God is there with you. Praise the living God. Anywhere you are, we find you okay. I mean in a, in a bus room somewhere, on the road, in your house, know that the what the presence of God is what is with you. Praise the living God. And God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Because of our time, we'll go to Joseph. Praise the living God. Genesis chapter 39, verse 1, verse 1 to 23. Please, can someone help us read? Genesis chapter 39, verse 1 to 3. 
Joseph. So everything he was doing, God made sure that he do what? He do prosper. Praise the living God. Imagine a slave boy in the house of a master. But because of him, everything about that house turned, turned a new leaf. And everything started what? Prospering in his hand. I know the master was a wise man. He looked at him and he recognized that this guy is like there's something upon him. He now knew what? He left everything. If you read it very well, the Bible said that it was only the food that the master did eat that he only knew about. He doesn't know about any other thing in his own house. Whether companies, whether whatsoever, he left all in the hands of God. Joseph, because of what? The presence of God was with him. Present living God. And when you look at it, even in the prison, when there was a, 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 an allegation, post allegation against him, and uh, from a prison, I mean, a, 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 a slave, now gone to the point of being in the prison again, praise the living God. The God was what? Was still with him. Even in the prison, the chief priest, the, the person that was in charge of the prisoners, still knew that this guy is, a, 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 is God. He is a finger of God in him. And he do what? Everything in that prison in that world handed over to him. Praise the living God. Because of the presence of the living God was with him. Praise the living God. God's presence is all the following for Joseph. In slavery, he was prosperous. Praise the living God. Even in slavery, he was what? Prosperous. Praise the living God. Even in slavery, he was what? Prosperous just as we know. We all, just as we all know. Praise the Lord. He prospered. Even in slavery. Everything that he thought would always go fine. Even the master come to realize it and do what? He left everything with him. Praise the living God. Maybe in his predicament, God was still with him. In slavery, he was prosperous. You can see that in Genesis chapter 29, 2 to 3. Now, God's presence made Joseph to find favor, grace and mercy. Praise the Lord. God's favor do what? Made Joseph to do what? Find favor, grace and mercy. Anywhere he went, he would always do what? Find favor because of what? The presence of God with him. Praise the living God. God made it possible for him to do what? Anywhere he is, he will do what? Find favor, special grace upon him, and mercy will always locate him because of what? The presence of God. Praise the living God. Now, we can see that in Genesis 39, 4 to 6. Praise the living God. His presence made Joseph to be in charge and in control. Praise the Lord. His presence to what? Made Joseph to be always in charge anywhere he was, he would be in charge of that place. In that place, praise the living God. Imagine a slave boy. They are told, when you read the Bible, you know that there were people serving in that house of Potiphar before he came. Praise the Lord. And there were so many people because when you read it, the Bible says that when there was no one again in the house, that is when the wife of Potiphar tried to do what? Hold him by force to do what? Have an affair with uh, Praise the living God. That means to say there were so many people here, even before the coming of Jesus, a special favor, special grace of God, and special what mercy and, 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 and special mercy place of God was upon him. So anywhere he go, he would be prepared. He would be he was chosen to be the best among the best, the living God. And I believe that would be our portion in anywhere we are, whatsoever we are doing. The presence of God is distribute us. I will be choosing among the best in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the living God. His presence made him to be in charge. Anywhere he is, in, the, in his master's house, he was in charge. Even when he was going to prison, he was still he was in charge of the prisoners. Praise the living God. He was still in charge of the prisoners because of what? The presence of God that was born with him. Praise the living God. The presence of God also made him a source of blessing. Praise the living God. The presence of God also made him what? A source of blessing. The Bible says that, and God blessed Potiphar because of Joseph. So much so that he is only know that it's because of this guy. That God is not received or gotten this kind of blessing before on the arrival of this man's name. Praise the living God. Because of Joseph, the presence of God made him a source of blessing. 
He was a blessing to Potiphar. He was also a blessing to those to those two prisoners that they were having what dreams, and all of them were so sober because they can't get the interpretation of this. Praise the Lord. May the presence of God bring what brings blessing to them to do what to get the answers to their work, their dreams. Praise the living God. That was the presence of God in action in the life of Joseph. Praise the Lord. God's presence was made a source of blessing. Genesis 39 verse 5. He fulfilled the dream of his life. Praise the living God. He fulfilled the dream of his life. Let us go to Genesis chapter 41 verse 38. Genesis 41. Genesis 41, verse 38. Praise the living God. 38 to 43. And it says, And Pharaoh said to his servant, Can we find such a one as this? A man in whom is the spirit of God. Praise the living God. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, In as much as God has shown you all this, there is no one at the same and wise as you, you shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be better than you. Praise the living God. 41. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have saved you over all the land of Egypt. Praise the living God. I have saved you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand, and he clothed him in garments of fine and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had him ride in the second chariot, which he had. And they cried out before him, bow the knee. So he sent him over all the lands of Egypt. Praise the living God. That was one opinion of his thing. Finally, he, he, he did not become a he was no longer a slave again. He became what? A ruler in a slave land. Praise the living God. A place that is not even you say you are a slave. The God made sure that what you become the ruler number two in that kingdom. Praise the living God. In fact, the king said that it's only the throne, only the throne, only the throne that I will be better than you. If not every other thing, you are as equal as me. Praise the living God. Because of what? The presence of God. He ruled in the land that he was a slave. Praise the living God. Because of what? The presence of God was with you. Praise the living God. Now, Genesis 42, verse 6. Now, Joseph was governor over the land, and it was he who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed down before him with their face to the earth. Praise the living God. And who were his brethren to what? They came to bow before him, but this was the same person that told them a dream. That I dream like a, that I, my wheat is up and you all your own is better than before me. This and that they say, ah, so you see, say one day we will become your slave. That was a born of confusion. That is where it was happened. That they sold him away so that that dream let them see how it will come to pass. But at the end of the day, the presence of God made sure that what that dream was what fulfilled. Praise the living God. How many dreams we have? That we are yet to fulfill it because of what you are The presence of God will make all our dreams to come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Genesis 43, 26 and 28. Genesis 43, 26 and 28. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand in the, into the house and bowed down before him to the earth. Then he asked them about their way being and said, Is your father where the old man of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? And they answered, Your servant, our father, is in good head. He is still alive. And they bowed their heads down and prostrated themselves. Praise the Lord. They do what? They bowed their heads and do what? Prostrated themselves again. Praise the living God. <clears throat> 29 says, okay, 28, it's okay. 
And they answer your servants, our father is in good way. They see our life and they bow what their heads and they do what they are frustrated and they have to do what. To greet the king, praise the Lord. The person that they sold, the person that they thought that his dream has been cut short, praise the living God. They now come back to do what? To bow before him because of what? All this situation was passing through. The presence of God was what? With him. So God made sure that what all the priests were what for peace. Praise the living God. I believe it's something very, very important for us to always pray for the word, presence of the Lord at all at all times. Praise the living God. It doesn't matter when you are. Always make sure that we are what before the Lord. The presence of the Lord should always be with us. The only thing we should do is we should do everything possible to make sure that what. His presence is with us. Praise the Lord. And we should always do what? Be in His presence. Praise the living God. You know, the Bible says that in His presence, there is anointing. Praise the living God. And the anointing do what? Breaks every yoke. So, whatsoever represents any yoke in your life, when you are in the presence of God, the presence of God is what? It's ready. To do what to destroy that you pray the living God. So let us, our brethren, uh, my brethren, let us always have that mind to always do what be in the presence of God and be the presence of God's carrier. Always carry God along, pray the living God, and God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. You know, we are having this topic up to like three. Three, this is part one, we are part two, and part three. We are going to start to the point that we know how it's dangerous not to be. With the presence of the Lord, praise the living God, and God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. So we come to the conclusion of our right? So we are now going to pray. Let us stand up. Let us of our hearts and pray that God, in His infinite mercy, always be with us. Let His presence always guide us. Let His presence always go with us in whatever we do. Let us of our hearts and pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, we thank you. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that your presence should be always be with us, go with us, and carry us anywhere in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to be your presence, carry us at all times in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Lord. We bless your Christian name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Now is the time.